The one MDB scandal is one of the biggest alleged white collar crimes ever. Investigators say it involves at least 10 countries from North America to the Middle East to Asia. It also allegedly includes New York and Beverly Hills real estate, Monet and Van Gogh artworks, Las Vegas gambling and the funding of Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street. It allegedly started soon after Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak set up 1MDB in 2009 to develop the country's economy. The US Justice Department alleges the fraud had three main phases. In 2009, 1MDB entered a joint venture with a private Saudi oil company. Malaysia pledged funds to the venture. Prosecutors say more than $1 billion was diverted to a Swiss bank account controlled by Malaysian financier Jolo. The money was also allegedly used by Mr. Lowe and others to buy a Beverly Hills hotel, a private jet and more than $25 million for casinos. In 2012, 1MDB issued $3.5 billion in bonds through Goldman Sachs. Prosecutors say about $1.4 billion of that was diverted to a Swiss bank account belonging to a British Virgin Islands entity. It was set up by Middle Eastern businessman Kadim al kabazi and an employee. The money was allegedly used to buy real estate, finance the Wolf of Wall Street and fund other spending benefiting Mr. al kabazi Mr. Lowe and Reza Aziz, the Malaysian Prime Minister's stepson. In 2013, 1MDB issued $3 billion more in bonds through Goldman Sachs. Prosecutors say more than $1.2 billion of that was diverted to a Singapore bank account held by a British Virgin Islands entity allegedly controlled by an associate of Mr. Lowe. Prosecutors allege they used much of that money to buy real estate and art, including works by Claude Monet and Vincent van Gogh. According to Malaysian investigation documents, $680 million of that was also allegedly sent to a personal bank account of Mr. Najib, the Malaysian Prime Minister. Mr. Najib and 1MDB have denied wrongdoing and pledged to cooperate with investigations. Malaysia's Attorney General cleared Mr. Najib of wrongdoing and said money sent to his account was a legal donation from Saudi Arabia and that most was returned. Mrs. Lowe and Aziz have denied wrongdoing. Mr. Aziz's film company, Red Granite Pictures, has said it has no reason to believe the source of its financing was irregular. Mr. al kabazi who is being detained by Abu Dhabi authorities in connection to its investigations into 1MDB-related affairs, hasn't commented. Goldman Sachs says it did nothing wrong.